so now I want to show you something which I yeah pretty often eat for lunch um, here you see boiled millet, puffed millet um, <clears throat> yeah puffed simply because it goes much quicker to boil um, yeah I mix it just with water and boil it and then I also have some uh, dark raisins to it and yeah sometimes also some chia seeds and since this is a very nutritious meal I just want to show you what nutrients it actually contains now let's look at what this meal has to offer so as you can see here the millet has a very good ratio of uh, carbs fats and proteins so you see that it's pretty much exactly an 80 10 10 ratio uh, which i'm aiming for i'm not only sticking to this 80 10 10 program where you only eat raw food but also doctors like colin t campbell recommend that 80 10 10 is a very good ratio 80% carbohydrates, 10% fats, 10% protein. So for this diet it's really a good food. Um, so but l let's look a bit closer at what actually is in the millet. For instance you have lots of B vitamins so I get like half my daily allowance of B vitamins just from the millet and also it's very high in minerals like for instance copper you can see iron and magnesium and some others but also the amino acid profile is very good so that I get half my amino acids just or essential amino acids and others just from the millet um, raisins are of course great for energy give you a lot of carbo a lot of carbohydrates but they're also quite high in minerals for instance in iron or in potassium mm, but what I think is also important to sometimes uh, get some more fats in, even though this is just 15 grams of chia seeds, I get almost 170% of my omega-3 only from the chia seeds. So that overall, this I think is a very good meal with a very good calorie ratio. And I think it's a very good option when you have to be quick when you have to make something very quick or also when you just don't like to cook and stand a lot in the kitchen it's a very nutritious meal and it's prepared very quickly so that's a lot of food 